As kids, we have a lot of things we need to know and lessons we have to learn, right? Grown-ups are always telling us to do stuff and learn stuff. Our parents do it and our teachers do it too. But I guess at least they have an excuse. At least it's their job. But although grown-ups are really boring and don't even know how to have fun and play games, they do know some important stuff, like where to buy the best toys or how to drive to restaurants, or about even more important things, like climate change. But honestly, although it doesn't sound very exciting, climate change is one of the most important things we need to know about because it's happening right here, right now, on Earth. The Earth. You may know it as the blue and green ball you see in your textbooks. It's the place where you and I live. Yes, this one right here. And we have nowhere else to go. So if we don't learn about climate change and take it seriously, we won't have a future on Earth at all. So right now, let's talk about what causes climate change, why you need to know about all this, and most importantly, what you can do to help. So how do I first know about climate change? Well, I first watched a video about it with my mom, and she explained it to me. But basically, I'm going to give you facts so simple that even a child can understand. Oh, wait, that's right. I'm a child. The problem is that the Earth is getting hotter and hotter every single day. If it keeps on warming, and if we don't take action right now, we will not survive, period. Now, let me ask you a question. What happens when you play outside in the hot sun the whole day? You'll feel hot, you sweat, and get dizzy, right? Sometimes you even have to lie down or maybe have a cool drink or an ice cream to cool down because your body is overheated, right? Now imagine the hottest summer day that you can remember and multiply that by 10. Now imagine going outside and trying to play. What would happen? How long would you be able to play for? Would you even Go outside? I wouldn't, and I'm sure you wouldn't either. If we don't do something about climate change, the fact is, we'll change this whole world into a gigantic oven. And trust me, it won't be any fun at all. So what causes climate change? Well, it's a combination of things. One of the main problems is that we still love using fossil fuels, which are things like coal and oil. When we have big cities, cars and planes, we need energy, the coal and oil, to keep them moving. So we burn these things to use as fuel. But the problem is, when we burn them, they release lots of harmful gases into the air. And then we go around cutting out loads of trees to make room for people and raise more animals to feed us. Some of these fire animals release more gases into the atmosphere than all the cars and vans on the road. And cows, cows are the worst. They're burping and farting. Yes, farting creates nearly 20% of all the harmful gases released into the atmosphere. The proper word for the dangerous gases that cows, fossil fuels, and other things create is greenhouse gases. They get their name because they rise up into the sky and create a blanket of gas that covers the earth. When more and more greenhouse gases get released, the blanket gets thicker 
and thicker, trapping all the hot air under it, which makes the earth heat up more and more every year, just like a greenhouse. And it's not a lie. If 97% of scientists agree in climate change, who are we to question that? Maybe you don't mind global warming because you live in Canada, and I know it can get pretty cold here in the winter time. But for the rest of us around the world, we know that the Earth is getting hotter and hotter. We know that it's melting glaciers and causing sea level to rise. And we know as long as we keep on destroying the planet like this, all living things are in danger. Plants, animals, me, and you, and all the humans on this planet, too. So what do we do? How do we stop it from happening anymore? How do we fix all things that have gone bad? Well, we need a really big change right now. Because it's you and I. We're the problem. Look in the mirror. Now, do you see the problem? Well, we need a really big change right now. We need to change the way we live today so that we can have a better future tomorrow. So what do we do? How do we stop it from happening anymore? How do we fix all things that have gone bad? Because it's you and I. We're the problem. Look in the mirror. Now, do you see the problem? Well, we need a really big change right now. We need to change the way we live today so that we can have a better future tomorrow. Everyone needs to stop polluting and start doing things that we know will help, like saving energy, planting trees, saving water. There are so many things that we can all do, and I won't have time to tell you all of them right now. Just have time to tell you what is happening and that we have to do something before it's too late. Every person in this room, kids like me and you, and parents too, we can all do something to help. The best way to start is by learning more about it. We all have internet connections and computers, so we can watch some videos like I did. We can read about it in books. We can ask our parents and our teachers to tell us more about it. Because the more we know about it, the more we can do something about it. So let's stop the pollution, stop climate change, and make the earth better again. This is our home, and we all live here. Start taking care of it together and create a future that we can all be proud of. Thank you.